Hello everyone and welcome back. February is Heart Health Month and we're looking at all the ways to keep your heart healthy and beating. So CPR is a critical life-saving procedure and Christy here will not only tell us about it but demonstrate it. So good morning. Good morning. So tell us about your job and how often you do CPR. So I'm a paramedic at Sanford Ambulance and we respond to emergencies every day, all day. Um, I'd say on average our paramedics probably do CPR maybe once a day, once every other day. There's a okay. call that they need to do something. Yeah, wow. Okay, so how does CPR prevent brain death? So CPR actually, when your heart stops, when you perform CPR, you're pumping that heart and making that heart pump to keep pushing that oxygen-rich blood mm -hmm. around the body, which helps keep the brain alive until advanced care can get there. Wow. Okay, so how often do cardiac emergencies happen in public where bystanders have the opportunity to in intervene? So this is really important. About 70% of cardiac arrests happen in public. So most likely when somebody's heart stops, it's going to happen where somebody else is around and somebody else has the chance to jump in. Unfortunately, there's only about 35% of the time, even in our own community, that somebody actually does something. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, like, in public, that's like a high-stress situation. And normally, don't bystanders just do it until, like, the paramedic comes? Yes. Okay. Yep. Right. So we want you to do it until the paramedic comes, but we really want you to do it. Sometimes right. nobody does anything. So. Yeah. All right. Well, of course, you guys have probably noticed that we are standing in front of dummies, <laughs> or behind dummies. <laughs> so um, we are going to show you guys and teach you how to do this. And I know that we have a video here that kind of goes to the song and step-by-step, -step, so we'll show that first. Uh, gorgeous step by step I did not know that that was gonna be the music I thought it was gonna be the music to what we're doing it to and that's what me and Christy were actually just talking <laughs> about before this is that I know it is to music because we've all seen the office we've seen that <laughs> episode uh, when they try to uh, do CPR and they do it to a song so Christy said that she's actually going to do it to the same song so what's the first step here so the first thing we're gonna do is if somebody collapses I'm gonna tell you go call 911 okay and then we're gonna come down and we're gonna just make them a little shake and say, hey, are you okay? If they're not okay, we're gonna check if they're breathing. And if they're not breathing, we need to start CPR. Okay. So I'm not gonna sing for you, but it's the song Staying Alive. <laughs> okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. When you do CPR, you go right in the middle of the chest. Okay. And you're gonna use the heel of your hand. So I kind of pull up like this. And then you're gonna push down hard, about two inches or more. So it's gonna be like this. Oh, and it's beeping, okay. Good, you're doing great. And I, oh, it's okay. <laughs> I was just trying so, to show you guys that you could do it in any outfit. So you can always <laughs> save a life. So the bit most important thing is you just keep going until somebody gets there to take over. Okay. All right. Well, perfect. Yeah. And it was just staying alive. Um, I can't even think of the artist right now. Uh, but it's like, first I was afraid, I was petrified. And uh, Christy said that there is multiple songs that you can do it to with the same beat. Um, yep. let's, my heels caught on my, okay, so how often does, do you have to do CPR in a home situation? Well, quite often people collapse at home, so usually there's somebody else around, whether it's a wife or a husband, or even we've had kids do it. We had a kids in oh. South Fargo that had to do CPR on their dad, and they saved his life. So it was pretty incredible. These kids had learned in school how to do CPR and they heard their dad collapse. They called 911 and they had to do CPR until we got there and That is yeah. incredible. Yes. Okay, so yeah, at any age you should know how to do CPR. Always get that training. Um, speaking of kids, we do have baby dolls here. Um, so should we do some CPR and some babies? Yeah, we can yeah. do that too. So babies are a little bit different. We don't want to push quite as hard on them. So okay. when we do CPR on babies, we just want to go in the middle of the chest and we usually use two fingers. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to push down and we're going to push pretty hard, Okay. but we're going to use two fingers. Now with babies, if you want to do the breathing, you can. Um, usually people are more likely to do the breathing with babies, okay. but you don't have to. You can just do the compressions if you want. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, so do they have to be a certain age or I thought that there was some where you put them over your knee? 
Um, that's actually for choking. Choking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. That <laughs> makes more sense. Okay. Perfect. And so that's at the same beat, right? Yep. Same okay. beat. Staying alive. All right. Perfect. So um, another question I have is, what is an AED? So an AED is an automated external defibrillator. Okay. And what that does, they're really easy to use. They're out in public. You grab it. You hook it up to the person. It shows you where to put the big stickers, and then you just listen to it. It tells you exactly what to do. It might want you to shock, and if it tells you to shock, you just push the shock button, or it may tell you to continue CPR, and then you just keep doing CPR. Okay, wow, perfect. All right, so lots of things that you guys can do to help save a life, um, and anyone can do CPR, we have learned. So um, if anyone wants to get that training, do you know where they can go? Yes, Sanford Ambulance has CPR classes almost every Monday night, so oh, they can awesome. go to Sanford Ambulance, the website, sign up for those. There's in-person options to get certified. There's also online options, so you can do a bunch of the education at home and then come in and practice on the dummies in there and get wow. signed off. Okay, lovely. Well, thank you so much, Christy, for showing us all of this, and make sure that you guys go and learn how to do CPR. Very important stuff. So we have lots more coming up on today's show, like your daily dose of motivation.